Hey what's up guys, before this video starts, I just wanted to say that I'm soon going to hit 4,000 subscribers, so I'm doing a question and answer video. If you guys want to leave your questions down in the comments below of this video, then use hashtag 4KQ&A, and enjoy the video guys, peace. Hey, what is going on guys, my name is Dark Bladers and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make a clean overlay for your videos and streams. So let's get right into it. So, let's just start out with a plain document. So I just have a plain background right here with a blurred text. Um, so I'm going to be making it for sore gaming. Um, you guys can make it for yourself or any other team. Um, I just love the Thor logo, so yeah, I'm gonna be making it for them. Uh, so first of all, you need a color scheme for your overlay. Um, a color scheme basically consists of one, two, or more colors. Um, basically, it's mostly used in pixel art and drawing, like shading and stuff, and it's really helpful because it helps to switch colors um, ASAP, like uh, really fast. So I'm gonna show you guys on how to make a color palette. So I'm going with the color scheme of um, this purple and a white. So I'm going to be making a color palette here. So I'm just going to choose the eclipse tool. I'm going to fill it with the this in purple and I'm going to make a circle. Okay, so then I'm going to control J. Um, that means I'm duplicating it. I'm going to fill it with white color. Okay, so after you have filled it with white color, now you have two. Now you have two, of course, uh, two eclipses. And uh, what you can do is, of course, um, of course, rasterize them and, and merge them together. And now you have a color palette. So now just we're just going to center them. And now they're centered. Now we can actually work out with the um, overlay itself. So, um, yeah. Uh, basically, this is the color palette. It actually helps you to switch between colors easily. So if you hold I, and like when you want to like use the fill bucket tool, you can hold I, I on your keyboard, and then select this color, click on it, and it should be selecting the purple one or any other color that you've picked. And you click on I, and it selects the white one. So that's a really clean tip. Uh, um, tip. So instead of doing it like this and like finding random colors, you can actually just hit I and click on this, and boom. So I'm just gonna open up the Thor logo. You guys can open up any logo you want. I just have this um, clan logo, a um, clan logo pack by Mixo Effects. If you guys want this, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, so I'm just going to get the Thor logo. Um, okay, so here's the Thor logo. I'm just going to drag it in here. I'm just going to close this. Okay, so now we have the Thor logo. What we can do is we're going to hold Control A, click on the second button here, and then the second last one. So it's centered now. Now, of course, you're going to hold Control T and make it hold Alt and Shift and drag the corners and make it make it a bit smaller. Um, probably a bit bigger. Just so you know, just so you don't have to zoom in all the time. You guys can make it a bit bigger. So we sorry. Uh, so yeah, now we're just going to work on the um, background. So what we could do is we're going to get an eclipse. And we're gonna hold I and select this color. Now I have to select color selected. What I can do is, of course, hold Shift and make a circle or an eclipse be behind the uh, Thor logo. Just center it by the same method I told you guys. We're gonna center the Thor logo as well. Okay, so the Thor logo is centered. I think I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Okay, so. I that's a bit smaller. It's just gonna center it. Okay, so it's centered. What we're gonna do is we're gonna um, click on this eclipse, 
hold control and J, this will duplicate the e eclipse. Then of course we're going to select this tool again. And now we have this option called fill. Click on it and uncheck this. So there's no fill. Now go on stroke and select this color. And select the white color. And now we have a stroke. Um, and of course if you guys want to reduce the stroke you guys can do that. Um, I'm just going to keep it like about this. Because that looks cool. So now we have this cool effect. Now of course you guys can put a cool effect on the uh, background layer. What you can do is of course um, we can name this purple circle middle and this could be the stroke white middle. So what you can do is we're going to select this one, this purple layer, make a new layer on top of it, right click on the new layer and click create clipping mask. Then uh, click P on, uh, hit P on your keyboard. Now we have the pen tool selected. Now of course you're gonna go to the uh, foreground color and select a darker purple color like this and hit, OK, and hit OK. Now we're just gonna make a path like this and then we're gonna select it here and then twist it like that. Um, okay, so that looks good. Now we may finish the path and click fill path, foreground color, click OK. Path. Now we have this cool effect on the um, on the background and it ha adds a nice detail to it. So yeah, this is just a tip. Now of course what you can do is we're going to make a new layer on top of the stroke, um, the stroke thing. You're going to make a new layer on top of it. Then select the um, lasso tool um, or hit the L button on your keyboard. Um, keep it on the Switch it to the uh, purple color that you guys picked. And we're just going to hold shift and click here. And then don't let go of the shift. And then now we're going to make this like this. Click and then keep holding shift and select that. And then do that. And just finish the path. And now, of course, we're going to choose the paint bucket tool and we're going to fill the path. Okay, so now we're going to, so you're going to center it. So it's centered now. What we're going to do is we're going to control J. That'll duplicate it. Then we're just going to hold shift and drag it. I'm going to hold, or click L on your keyboard. Then hold shift and just delete this part. Now if you drag it here, it adds this cool effect to your thing and it, it makes it look a lot cooler. And uh, yeah, that's just a feature. So what I can do is maybe we might um, color overlay uh, white. <clears throat> so it looks a lot cooler. Maybe we're making it smaller. Maybe we're just going to cut it out. Okay, so after you've cut it out, you can just like put it there. And yeah, that looks really cool. Next, of course, we're going to make a new layer on top of that. Next, we're going to hold uh, the lasso tool. And then we're going to hold shift, while holding shift, make the trapezium or something, whatever you call it. Um... I think that is enough. Yep. Then fill it. Maybe that turned out bad. We're gonna make it again. Okay, fill it, and there you go, you have this whole layer. Maybe we're just going to do it again. Just going to make it like this, make it like this, make it like this, and then join it. Ok, 
Okay, I'm just failing so hard right now. Um, okay. okay. So we're gonna keep it like this. Then we're gonna control J, control T, flip horizontal. And then make it like this. Then merge both of them. Have this thingy. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna control T. Then we're just gonna make it smaller. Like here. Like this size. And to just put it here. Just to make it look cooler. Next, of course, we're gonna duplicate it again. Control T. Flip vertical. Make it smaller. And then this just gives a, another cool effect to your overlay. Gives another cool effect to your overlay. Next, we're gonna do is we're gonna, of course, we're gonna duplicate everything. Um, so we're just gonna duplicate everything. Control T. For, wait, maybe we might just. Yeah, flip horizontal. And then. There you go. Just duplicated it. And uh, yeah, it looks cool. Looks nice. Just gonna put the. Behind the eclipse. And now it looks better. I'm gonna put this as a wall behind it. Okay, so now we're, we're gonna add some text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer on top of everything. Take the type tool, then change the color to white. Then type in your text, your name. I'm just gonna type in Sword Gaming. Like just to, just to make it look much more better. Now, of course, they're gonna center this. Not centered. We can maybe add a drop shadow on it. Add a drop shadow, no size, no distance. It's still like that. Well, it's cool actually. Next, we're gonna control J. We're gonna make a tile of all that. We're just gonna type in the official channel of Sword Gaming, and yeah, that looks cool as heck. Of course, we're gonna remove these. We're gonna change the drop shadow distance to uh, like one. One. And click. Okay. There you go. You have a cool text now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna center it to be honest. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna gonna end out that. Next of course we gonna make some links for yourself. So I'm just gonna open up this link social media pack um by Bear Designs. I'll have a link in the description to the social media pack. And as well as the the uh, clan logo pack. So we're gonna get, take we're gonna take the YouTube and the Twitter icons. You're gonna put them here. Now, of course, we got you can you have to remove the play button on. So we're gonna select the magic wand tool, select the YouTube, and then select the play button and delete it. So now we have like two stiff. So now we're gonna of course color overlay and we're gonna put it on white. We're gonna put color overlay here as well on the Twitter logo. White. So now of course we're gonna rasterize the layers. So now we have two icons. What we can do is we're gonna make them smaller. So we're just gonna make them small. And what are we gonna do? So we're gonna put YouTube here, then take Twitter and put it below it, and then we're gonna make some text. 
we're just gonna get a text here. So we're gaming, we're just gonna cop duplicate it, and we're just gonna we're like slash store gaming. Just gonna make it smaller, a little bit bigger. And there you go. There you go. Yeah, I got a cool um thing for your player styles kind of thing. Yeah, that looks really nice as well. I like it. Now, maybe you guys might want to do something else as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, merge all of them. We're going to merge all of them here. The We group them together. We're going to merge all of that. We're going to merge that. And we're going to add a... We're going to right click and merge group. Now we have one layer. What are we going to do is of course we're going to right click, click blending options. And then put a gradient overlay on it. But keep it on normal so that it gives a nice contrasty look to your overlay. So like if you take it like this. It makes it look a lot better. That looks really nice. I like it. <clears throat> Next way we're going to do is we're going to. Make a new layer on top of this, and then we're gonna make a new layer. Right click, click clipping mask, take the pen tool, and then we're gonna start from here. And then we're gonna go here, hold shift and select that. Next, we're just gonna start here and then do that, and then start. Uh, I mean. And this just created, and yeah, it's this is like a nice effect for your overlay. Click right click, foreground color. Um, keep your um, so we can choose a darker or color. So we're just gonna take a darker purple color. We're gonna fill it. All right, um, right click, delete path. As you can see, it provides a really nice clean look to your um, overlay, and I really like this design. Uh, this is very minimalistic and really cool for your videos. If you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And of course, be creative, do different things with it, don't really copy it, because it's not, it's not good to copy. So, yeah, I'll provide all the packs in the description box below. If you guys want this PSD, I will provide it at 100 likes. Um, this video reaches 100 likes, I'll provide the PSD in the description box below. And the font I used was Bank Gothic, I'll provide those as well in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, my last video got a lot of support and a lot of dislikes as well, but uh, I don't really matter. Um, it doesn't really matter, but uh, thank you so much for supporting me and staying with me. And we're almost at 4,000 subscribers right now. So yeah, thank you so much for the support. Uh, I've gained all over 3,000 subscribers in a year. Thanks so much, and uh, thanks for watching this video, and peace, guys.